<clears throat> so the example that I would like to create over here is I will going to take from input an input from user which will going to be in pounds. I will going to perform a calculation and we're going to return the output in kilograms. So I'm going to have one input, I'm going to have one output. Once you learn understand how to do basic input output, you can make it very complicated, have several inputs and a one output and things of that nature. So first of all, I'm going to do my HTML form. form name is equals to <clears throat> calculate now if you are looking at the output it can take an input from you and if you click the button it doesn't do anything so what is missing is we need to add some event handling on the button and we need to tie that event handling to a JavaScript function so on my button I will going to write on click process now this will going to be a user defined function you can call it anything it follows the same naming conventions as we have learned in sub procedures and functions down below in the script portion bless you down below in the script portion we will going to write a function the name of that function will going to be process now this is the function that will going to get called whenever somebody clicks on the button now inside this function we will be declaring some variables to read the input so we'll have a variable call pounds variable equals to now this is where I'm going to be learning how JavaScript talks to the other elements outside of JavaScript within the same document and this is what's called DOM document object model so JavaScript first of all refers to the document as document if you have to write on the document you call document dot write but now we need to talk to the form what's the name of my form calculate so I'll say I want to call calculate the calculate actually has an object called LBS that's the name of the object that holds the pounds and that has a property called value now if you follow through the syntax does it remind you of vb.net in vb.net what do you do you say the name of the text box dot text and you don't have to give the name of the form because you're sitting in that form but if one form wants to call the data from another form in vb then it would have to give the form reference so since JavaScript is talking to HTML form, it needs the form reference. Because there can be more than one forms on the same page. So form name dot the object name dot the property. So now the value comes over. What is the default data type of the value that comes? It is always string, just like it's in VB. So now you need to convert it and we use JavaScript parse int or parse float whatever however you want to deal with it if you want decimal places then you use parse float okay now after this I have my another variable called key KGS where this is where I will going to take my data in pounds and I will going to divide that by 2.2 and this will going to give me my output in kilograms pounds where so pounds where divided by 2.2 we're going to give me my kilograms because there are 2.2 pounds per kilogram now I need to take the value of kilograms and I need to push it in push it in the KGS which is another text box so I will going to follow the same example 
document.write, followed by KGS, followed by value equals to KGS var. It's very similar to what you do in VB. If you're reading the value from a text box in VB, you write the text box dot text. If you're pushing a value into the text box, then the text box dot text goes to the left of the equals. So, as I said, once you understand the basics in one programming language, or maybe two, they're the same across the board. Okay, now after this, if I save the changes and go over to my web browser and refresh it, and I put in a value in pounds, and click on process, here you go. Now, let's come back here and we will going to apply some of the things that we learned last time here in class. We can round these numbers and we can change our text box to read only because we do not want anybody to be able to tweak the answer. So we change the answer text box to read only and our answer is what we're going to be rounding. We'll be rounding our answer. So now nobody can click here. If the answer was 2.6934 and I want the answer to be 2.69. And there is no function like VB, there is no built-in function like VB to say I want two decimal places. So the best possible way to do is, before you round, you multiply a number by 100. Then we're going to shift your decimal places over. And then after you round, you divide by 100. So then we're going to push the decimal place back in its place. So if I say, let's say the number is 2.6934. If I multiply it by 100, what will going to happen, it becomes 269.34. Then I divide by 100.0, then it becomes 